everyone, my name's Annette and welcome back to Cotto Verdi. I thought it'd be nice to give you a quick tour of the no dig dahlia bed that I showed you in previous videos. As you know, um, the deer had a really good munch on my dahlias this year and so all my dahlias are quite a bit later, maybe three or four weeks later than they normally would be. Um, in previous years, this bed would have been full of flowers by now at the beginning of August, but I'm gonna have to wait a week or two before I have loads of them. But I thought I'd show you um, the first few flowers because they're really cool and interesting. This here is the dahlia bed and the deer ate absolutely every single one of these plants. They gnawed them down to the ground practically whilst we were away on holiday and I came back to a completely decimated patch but all that really happened was that they pinched them out for a second time and so they have grown back but they're just much later and they'll probably be a lot shorter than they would normally be but let me show you the dahlias that I've got at the moment. This is La Recoleta and it's absolutely one of my favourites. It's the most gorgeous red. It's really hard to film red so that it shows up correctly, but it is darker in the centre and then it's this gorgeous sort of velvety red colour on the outside. I can't describe to you how beautiful it is. It's gorgeous and quite floriferous and actually was one of the first to flower in my dahlia bed. So these are karma chocolate and they should be about 90 centimetres tall and actually they are more like, let me see, well they're not even 60 centimetres tall so instead of being three foot they're two foot if that. So they're much shorter because they got pinched back so much. Also I just want to show you that some of them haven't recovered so well. So you know these are Downham Royal and Rocco and they just haven't recovered as well. They did not like being pinched back so much. So this one is Acapulco and because it's um, a single and it's very open it's really good for the pollinators and so that's why I've planted it in the dahlia bed because um, it's one of my favourites because it's very bright. This one looks a bit raggedy but it is very bright um, normally and I'm sure it'll get better as the season goes on. But because a lot of my dahlias are not open like this, um, it's very hard for the pollinators to get in. And so I do like to have a few singles so that they can get in and enjoy themselves with the pollen. This one is called Night Silence. It's new to me this year and I love it. It's a really sort of, you know, one of those antique coloured looking dahlias. Really, really pretty. So this one's called Florinor. It's not a particularly good example because it's the first flower, I guess, and you know, maybe it's just struggling a bit. I probably need to feed them. But um, I do love Florinor. It's a gorgeous sort of orangey pink and it's beautiful and they're very expressive and flamboyant. This one's called Ivanetti and um, it said it was dark maroon, but actually I would describe this much more as a sort of wine colored, like a really nice claret. It's a really lovely red and the central area here in the middle has more sort of a purple tinge when it's young but I'm guessing that when it opens up it's all going to be this colour and actually I think this is a really perfect size dahlia for flower arranging and things like that but it looks really cool in the garden. I love it with the bright green of the leaves. This one's called Maya and it is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. It's the soft palest primrosy yellow with flushes of pinky purple and it's gorgeous. It is supposed to be 90 centimetres tall and again I think it's another one that has suffered from the deer pressure so the deer munched it all the way down and it's now grown back and it's doing its very best to get to 90 centimetres but at the moment it's about 40 centimetres or a foot tall so that's quite disappointing but there are so many buds on this, it is really going crazy. So I'm very excited about the potential. This one is Teesbrook Aubrey. I'm in two minds about it at the moment. It might come into its own later, but I'm not so excited. It's new to me again this year. This one's called Small World and it, they really are tiny. They're about an inch across and um, but they're kind of really handy to have for flower arrangements but they don't really do much in the border. This one is called Westerton Southside. And, you know, in between the petals, it's very, very yellow. But if you look at it from above, it's much more sort of sunsetty orange. It's kind of cool. 
This one is Hillcrest Jonathan and it's a really lovely sort of bright purple and the petals have got this sort of lighter outer edges and a darker stripe in the middle and this is new to me this year it's obviously been like maybe a little bit of bug damage on the bottom so it's not quite round but this holds a lot of promise this one it looks wonderful this one is Sasha and it was one of my all-time favorites last year it's got really pretty petal structure and um, loads of petals and it's just a perfect pinky purple I really really love it so at this end of the bed are my dinner plate dahlias and these are the ones that were eaten the least by the deer and they're looking super healthy. This bright pink one at the front um, isn't that bright pink normally. So this one is called Café Olé Royale and um, I really love it, it's beautiful but I'm not sure why it's quite so pink at the moment. And this massive one here at the back that's about to open and bloom is called Penhill Watermelon and I will definitely show you that when it's open because it's going to be gorgeous. Just a few of my pot dahlias. This one is totally tangerine and um, it's looking a bit ropey because I've had to deadhead quite a few but it's been flowering beautifully. And then this one here is called Melissa Anna Mayiki. I'll put it up on the screen because I don't know how you pronounce that but it's absolutely gorgeous and this is my first flower so it's quite short. But it's just got this beautiful sort of the underside of the petals is much darker and so where it curls around you kind of get a glimpse of that. It's really pretty. And this one here is the first flower from Honka Rose. I have very high expectations of this one but with just one solitary flower I'm not very excited at the moment but I'm really hoping it is going to blossom beautifully. Well that's it for today, that was a really quick tour of the few dahlias that I have in flower at the moment but do subscribe to my channel because I'll be doing a much bigger tour in two or three weeks time where I'll show you absolutely everything that I have planted in this huge bed. So thanks so much for watching, I'll see you all next time.